Following CAR T-cell treatment, neurological symptoms are very common. About 60 or 70 percent of patients will have some form of neurotoxicity. And this can be mild, such as patients with drowsiness, impaired attention, uh, through the more specific features of speech and language disturbance. So patients may become unable to name simple objects, may have difficulty with speaking or writing. And then at the more severe end of the scale, neurotoxicity can cause severe drowsiness and coma and epileptic seizures. The first aspect of management is to be sure what the cause is, because similar symptoms can be caused by other conditions that might affect the patient who's having this treatment. So they may have metabolic disturbance due to cytokine release syndrome or due to sepsis which can cause delirium which can mimic some of the symptoms of CAR T-cell neurotoxicity. Patients are immunosuppressed, they are at risk of infection and uh, infection in the central nervous system can cause neurological symptoms. Some patients may have a stroke, either hemorrhagic or ischemic, and some patients may have epileptic seizures for other reasons which are not always obvious and may uh, cause drowsiness without any visible movements. So we need to do appropriate tests to work out what's causing this. The usual tests are an MRI brain scan, which is mainly to rule out other conditions because it's usually normal in CAR T-cell neurotoxicity. We would also do an EEG, which often shows slowing and encephalopathy in neurotoxicity, but is also a useful test for picking up subclinical epileptic seizures. And we would recommend a lumbar puncture, which in, in CAR T-cell neurotoxicity typically shows rather non-specific symptoms of raised protein and perhaps minimally raised cell count, but may be more useful for excluding alternative diagnoses such as infection or malignant disease infiltration into the nervous system. And then once we have clarified the diagnosis, the treatment of neurotoxicity is broadly to give steroids, anti-inflammatory corticosteroids. In mild neurotoxicity we might give a relatively low dose of dexamethasone 10 milligrams twice daily. In, se in severe neurotoxicity we would recommend higher dose intravenous methylprednisolone 1 gram daily. The dose of steroids and the duration will need to be titrated according to the response and the clinical presentation.